Every day, innate immunity protects us from cancer and infectious diseases. It's essential for our existence and so fundamental that we share much of it with primitive animals such as sponges. Adaptive immunity evolved more recently but still requires an innate response to be initiated. Natural killer, or NK cells, are the major cytotoxic lymphocyte within our innate immune system. They constantly patrol our bodies to eradicate tumor cells as they arise and provide crosstalk to the adaptive immune system. Failure of an NK cell to recognize a tumor cell allows cancer to develop. Understanding tumor-specific NK cell responses is an important step towards maximizing the therapeutic potential of NK cells in cancer treatment. The tumor surveillance by NK cells in healthy individuals provides a rapid response to tumor formation and is vital for the early response to tumorigenesis. NK cells are particularly important as, unlike T cells, they can kill tumor cells in the absence of antigen-presenting cells. So, while resting NK cells circulate in the blood, their activation is controlled by a multi-step signaling process requiring multiple ligations of molecules expressed on their surface. This cascade of signals moves the rest to the point where they can kill tumor cells. Most tumor cells provide enough of these signals to drive resting NK cells through to release of lytic granules and cytokines. But tumors evolve, and genetic changes can offer them a survival advantage as losing expression of the molecules that the NK cells recognize. These NK-resistant tumor cells lack sufficient ligands to activate NK cells. The resistant tumor cells become more prevalent, and a growing tumor ignored by NK cells can lead to the development of cancer. However, lysis of this NK-resistant tumor can be achieved if a source of additional signals is provided. This can be achieved by priming with an activating cytokine, or more effectively, by conjugation to Incmune, a tumor cell which expresses NK priming ligands. Our research at Immune Bio focuses on the signals needed to transition NK cells from rest to lytic function, and on why some tumors are more resistant to NK killing. We've shown that it's possible to overcome the loss of activation receptor expression in NK cells by priming them with Incmune. Incmune cells bind to NK cells via multiple ligand receptors, one of which is CD15. In the NK Incmune synapse, the CD2 receptor on the NK cell binds to CD15 on the Incmune cell, and CD16 is shed. Within the cytoplasm of the NK cell, CD3 zeta released from CD16 then binds to the intracellular domain of CD2 and is phosphorylated. This leads to the downstream phosphorylation of LAT and the subsequent phosphorylation of STAT5. Phosphorylated STAT5 induces IFN gamma synthesis, which leads to the transition from resting NK cell to a primed state. The primed NK cell now needs to bind far fewer activating ligands on the tumor cell to be able to kill it. So cancer cells which have evaded NK cells are now susceptible and are killed. Immune Bio has identified a specific signature of incmune induced genes in NK cells, and these are being studied to optimize NK cell function. We expect our increasing understanding of NK cell activation and the key signaling molecules which play a role in tumor target recognition will lead to novel therapeutic strategies for the treatment of cancer.